the entrance antiphon. Turn to me and have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am alone and poor. See my lowliness and suffering and take away all my sins, my God. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A very bright good morning to you all. And a warm welcome to Patik in the celebration. A simple message from today's gospel, which looks tough in daily routine. Love God and love your neighbor. For the times we have failed to understand the heart of God, to love him and to love our neighbor. We ask the Lord to forgive us and give us a grace to overcome our failures. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. In today's celebration, in a very special way, we pray for Anthony and Jacqueline Drury for their diamond wedding, a 60th wedding anniversary. We pray for them and for the better health they are with us for the Mass. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its designs, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us and grant all that works for our good through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. Rachel and Tobit entered media and had nearly reached Ectbarna, when Rachel said to the boy, Brother Tobias. Yes, he answered. The angel went on. Tonight we shall be staying with Raguel, who is a kinsman of yours. She has a daughter called Sarah. As they entered Ectbarna, Tobias said, Brother Azarias, take me at once to your brother Raguel's. And he showed him the way to the house of Raguel, whom they found sitting beside his courtyard door. They greeted him first, and he replied, Welcome and greetings, brothers. And he took them into his house. Raguel killed a sheep from the flock and he and his wife, Edna, gave them a warm-hearted welcome. Then they washed and bathed and sat down at table. Then Tobias said to Raphael, Brother Azarius, will you ask Raguel to give me my sister Sarah? Raguel overheard the words and said to the young man, Eat and drink and make the most of your evening. No one else has the right to take my daughter Sarah. No one but you, my brother. In any case, I, for my own part, am not at liberty to give her to anyone else since you are mine, her next of kin. However, my boy, I must be frank with you. I have tried to find a husband for her seven times among our kinsmen, <coughs> and all of them have died the first evening on going to her room. But for the present, my boy, eat and drink. The Lord will grant you his grace and peace. Tobias spoke out. 
I will not hear of eating and drinking till you have come to a decision about me. Raguel answered, Very well. Since, as prescribed by the book of Moses, she is given to you, heaven itself decrees she shall be yours. I therefore entrust your sister to you. From now on, you are her brother and she is your sister. She is given to you from today forever. The Lord of heaven favour you tonight, my child, and grant you his grace and peace. Raguel called for his daughter Sarah, took her by the hand and gave her to Bias with these words, I entrust her to you, the law and the ruling governed, recorded in the book of Moses, assign her to you as your wife. Take her, take her home to your father's house with a good conscience. The God of heaven grant you a good journey in peace. Then he turned to her mother and asked her to fetch him writing paper. He drew up the marriage contract, how he gave his daughter as bride to Tobias, according to the ordinance in the law of Moses. After this, they began to eat and drink. The parents, meanwhile, had gone out and shut the door behind them. Tobias said to Sarah, get up, my sister. You and I must pray the petition. You and I must pray and petition our Lord to win his grace and protection. She stood up and they began praying for protection. And this was how he began. You are blessed, O God of our fathers. Blessed too is your name for ever and ever. Let the heavens bless you and all things you have made for evermore. It was you who created Adam, who created Eve, his wife, to be his help and support. And from these two the human race was born. It was you who said, it is not good that the man should be alone. Let us make him a helpmate like himself. And so, I do not take my sister for any lustful motive. I do it in singleness of heart. Be kind enough to have pity on her and on me and bring us together and bring us to an old age together. And together they said, Amen, Amen, and lay down for the night. This is the word of the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labour of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house your children like shoots of the olive around your table. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Thus indeed, indeed thus, shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. You have the message of eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and put a question to him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, This is the first. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the one Lord, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you must love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well spoken, Master. What you have said is true, that he is one and there is no other. To love him with all your heart and with all your understanding and strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. This is far more important than any holocaust or sacrifice. Jesus, seeing how wisely he had spoken, said, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to question him anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. The most lovable gospel that we just read, which seems to be very easy, but when we reflect on our daily life within our own family, with our own children and grandchildren, with our neighborhood, I think sometimes we'll think this is the toughest, <clears throat> toughest of the gospel. For it is not only love that Jesus speaks about, it speaks about to love someone with your heart, with the understanding and with the strength. So these are the very difficult things to understand other person as we should understand that person. To love that person not only in mind, <clears throat> not only in physical appearance, but within ourselves from the heart and the whole strength. As we partake in this Mass, we ask the Lord to give us the grace and the strength to be always in his shadow, to receive a little from God and share this little to others the best way we can. May this celebration give us that strength, that heart and that understanding. Blessed are you, Lord, God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are the Lord God of creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. All we sin everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy Blessed is he who comes in the name of You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in a hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, a spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to, to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I share with you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant the peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Amen. Share the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <coughs> the Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Text. Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you freed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may marry to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God blesses the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.